Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we will learn about Cloud Spanner. And we will also learn about uh, what are the key features of this Cloud Spanner and uh, what are the benefits of this Cloud Spanner. And also we will learn how to create a Spanner instance and create a database and create a schema uh, using Google Cloud Console. And also I will show you guys how to insert and modify data and run some queries against the table uh, uh, using Google Cloud Console. So let me log into Google Cloud Console. I logged into uh, Google Cloud. So here, just go to search and just look for Cloud Spanner. Just uh, look for a Cloud Spanner. And click on the Spanner. So before I create an instance uh, in this Spanner, so let me just give you guys some uh, a few details about uh, this Cloud Spanner. Cloud Spanner is a fully managed, uh, a mission critical, a relational database service that offers transactional consistency at global scale, automatic synchronous replication for high availability. And also it supports uh, two SQL. One is Google Standard SQL and uh, other one is PostgreSQL. And Google Standard SQL is nothing but ANSI 2011 with extensions. Let me also uh, give you guys some uh, key benefits of this Cloud Spanner. The key benefits of this Cloud uh, Spanner is everything we would expect from a relational database, schema, SQL queries, and SC transactions, battle tested and ready to scale globally. The Cloud Spanner delivers industry leading high availability for multi regional instances, 10 times less downtime than four nights, and provides transparent, synchronous replication across region and multi region configuration. And also, our Cloud Spanner optimizes performance by automatically uh, sharing the data based on request load and size of the data. So as a result, we can spend less time worrying about how to scale our database and instead focus on scaling our business. Let me also give you guys some uh, few benefits of this Cloud Spanner. And it is globally distributed and SA com compliant cloud database that automatically handles a replicas sharding and transaction processing so we can quickly scale to meet any usage pattern and uh, ensure success of products and this cloud spanner is built on google's dedicated network and battle tested by google services used by billions so it admins and dbs are uh, or operating databases. So with Cloud Spanner, creating or scaling a globally replicated database now uh, takes a handful of clicks. That means like, you know, very elastic, uh, very less time, like, you know, in the seconds or minutes and reduces our cost of maintaining databases. So let me let me show you guys how to create an instance. So I'm in the Cloud Spanner page. So just click on create a provision instance. Now, now we are in the create an instance space. So now we need to name our cloud spanner. So I will say this as an instance spanner 01. And name must be four to 30 characters long. And also the instance, our instance ID is instance spanner 01 in this module. And the next one is compare the region configuration. So regional or multi-region. So I'll just keep it. Uh, if you want to change it to multi-region, so it's up to you. This is just a demo purpose. I just want to give you guys like, you know, how we can uh, uh, create an instance um, using Google Cloud Console. So here I go back, I go to the US locations. Let me go and select US East 1 South Carolina. Everything looks good. And here on, on the right, we can see that like, you know, the summary, the storage cost depends on the GP stored per month. And here we see the configuration US East 1, South Carolina and replicas, th three read write replicas in three separate zones within region. And high availability, 99.99% and maximum storage capacity, four 
terabyte. And we can also look at the compute cost, 0 0.90 per hour and um, 30 cents per GB month. Okay, let, let me go and look at additional uh, read-only replicas and everything looks good. So, and the processing unit, so we can enter the processing unit. So it is only integer. So we can um, uh, increments 100 up to 1000 followed by increments of 1000. So here everything looks good. So let me look at the compute capacity guidance. So if you want to get more details on a compute capacity, just look at all these options. So here everything looks good. So we just uh, created a name and that's our instance ID. And we choose the configuration to deploy at the regional level and we selected US East 1 South Carolina. So now let me create this instance. Yeah, now instance is created. So now what I will do, right? I will create a database and also create a schema. So now we may have a question like, you know, how do we create a database? So here in this page, we see a lot of options on our left, import, export, backup, restore. And also on top of the page, we see edit instance, delete instance, everything. In the middle of the page, we see databases. So create database. Now what I will do, I will create a database here. Click on create database. Now we need to give a name to our database. I will just call it as a database 01. And what a SQL we want to use in this database. So we need to select that um, uh, the SQL that we want to use. So I will select Google standard SQL. So now define your schema is optional and we can also define it later if we want. So now let me create this database. So we see that the database is created. So we must be able to see the database here. And let me just refresh the page. So we should be able to see the database. So here, if you see that uh, the all instances and uh, our instances, uh, instance spanner 01, and under that, we see the database as database 01. So now let's just click on this database. And uh, here we see the option create table. Let me just go back to the instances again. So if you want to create multiple databases in one instance, we can also do that. We can, we can do that. So here uh, we should be able to do it. So if you click on create database, then uh, you can create one more database under the same instance. So at this uh, moment, so I will just uh, continue work with just one database. So let's go ahead and um, here, and uh, we need to start like, you know, creating tables and uh, insert some data. So let me create a table. Just click on create table. So here uh, we can just enter. If you already have a script or code uh, with you, you can uh, just copy and paste the code here. Or if you want to just enter something like, you know, you want to just write a code, then you can also do that. And uh, all the commands, you see that uh, it, it populates automatically. If you want to uh, write the alter, then everything shows this alter database, alter statistics, everything. So since I have a um, code available from Google Cloud, so I will just use that as an example here. So, um, uh, and here, like, you know, before I created table, so we selected the database uh, dialect uh, Google standard SQL. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to create a table called singers. And I have five attributes uh, in this table, singer ID, first name, last name, singer info, and birth date, and the primary key is singer ID. So everything looks good here. So I will just create this table. So we can just submit it. And um, now if we want to look at the table, so we can just go here and click on the table and here we see all the details about our table and uh, the table name is uh, singers 
the table name is singer and we have five attributes singer id is integer and first name last name string singer info bytes and birthday date and if you want to create it if you want to create any index so you we can just use this create index and uh, create uh, the index and let me go here open a table again again and if we want to look at the data, we can just click on the data and see. And also we have a couple of options, edit and delete. If you want to edit any data, we can edit. Or if you don't want any record exist in this table, we can just click, select that record and delete it. I will show you guys in a minute. So now uh, let me insert uh, some data into this table. So I already have some code available with me. So I will just use that code to insert data into this table. So how do we insert the data? How do we run the query? Just click on insert. Now we have uh, uh, a SQL editor. So now I will just delete this and enter my query here. So now what we're doing, insert, into singer's table and singer id and uh, everything so let me just uh, open a new tab and let me just uh, enter uh, the code that i want sorry i think i copied the the wrong code so let me just uh, uh, enter the right code insert into singers table and I provided a value the first name is Mark and the last name is Richards so now let me enter this and the ID is the one singer ID so now let me run this uh, query insert query so that we should be able to insert data into table so here we see that um, all the results and one row inserted and view all date, uh, data in the table so now if you want to look at the, the data that you inserted, we can just click on table or we can just go here and click on our data. I'll just go back here and um, look at the data that I just inserted. So here uh, we enter the singer ID one, first name Mark, last name Richard. Now I want to add more data. So let me just add a uh, 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 couple more records here so that uh, we will have a good sample to look at at the end. So now I'll just delete this and uh, add uh, another record that is uh, ID2 and the first name Catalina and last name Smith. So just enter. Now we have one more record and I will add uh, uh, one more record here. Let me add one more record here. I'll just uh, or you can use a new tab or you can just clear this query. Just click on clear query and uh, enter uh, your code here. And now, so far we added three records into the table. So now we may have a question like, you know, how do we update the record? So if you want to update the record, we can just use the, the same uh, query window and then use the update statement. But before I, use this up before i run the update statement i want to go back to data and see what we have in the table so here i have three records in the table and and if i want to edit any record see i can just click on edit and then here if i want to change name for this uh mark richards so what i will do right so i will say just mark jones and then now let me run this record. So now row is updated. So now I will go back to data. And here we see that Mark Jones is updated. And if I want to update a last name um, for Kenna, just go here and say Kenna William. Okay, so now let me update this. Now it's updated. Now I will go back here and then uh, we can look at the data. And if you want to delete any record, you, we, we can just select and click on delete. So once you confirm it and the record is deleted, or you can also use a query window and run it like, you know, delete command. And, uh, and we just uh, deleted one more record. Now I want to add one more record. 
So what I will do, right? I will just click on insert. Now, remember we deleted um, our finger ID too. So now I just want to add that finger ID again so that um, we will have uh, uh, at least three records in the table. Okay, so let me add that. Uh, let me run that insert. So now I'll go back to data. Now we have three records. So this is how we can update or uh, delete uh, data from our uh, table in the database in Cloud Spanner. And let me also uh, give you guys a few details like, you know, uh, how we run the select query. So now we have option here on our left data, but we don't want to use this. Like, you know, a lot of programmers, they just run, want to run a query. So they don't want to go back and also look at the data. So if you want to run a query, just click here and uh, uh, clear the window. It's just like, you know, access equal, just select start from the table. So now just say select start from our table is singers. So just run this. We should be able to see all the records that exist here. So this is how we can um, uh, add data, insert data, or update data, or delete data in this Cloud Spanner database. And uh, uh, so far in this module, we discussed what is Cloud Spanner and how do we create an instance using Google Cloud Console. And we learn how to create a database and how to create a table. And also we learn how to uh, insert data into this table and how do we update the data. And if we don't want to see any records, how do we delete it? So we learn all these, like, you know, how to query uh, against the table in this uh, Cloud Spanner. So if you have any questions about this Cloud Spanner or creating instances, creating databases or insert data, or, uh, anything, if you are facing any errors when you are performing this um, uh, in your uh, Google Cloud Console, and please uh, don't hesitate. Please post all your questions uh, if you're getting any errors, please post them in the comment and I will try to reply as soon as possible. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.